little 48, baby. Got a little candy in her pocket. She gon' take off like a... Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tay. If you're new here, welcome. The soon-to-be Davises are up to some big things and as you probably saw, they did indeed purchase or take out a 500 grand loan for a private jet because we are too bougie to be flying Spirit like we were last time. Tay has now gathered all of her girls and they're boarding the Davis private jet to take a little trip to Winnenberg in search of Tay's dream wedding dress oh my gosh i'm smiling so hard because i'm just so excited also i do want to mention that tay was gifted all of these gorgeous pieces that she's wearing from prada right before this trip so basically this trip was sponsored by prada and baby tay is going to be serving looks so I really want to do some gameplay on the jet because like that's what we purchased it for, you know? And obviously we don't have jets in The Sims. So I made this little room and I went ahead and popped it up here in um, San Mishuno because it's a vibe. Also the view is like, you look out the window, it's like, oh, I'm floating in the sky. Also, it's so cloudy. Is this even like flyable weather? Who knows? We're gonna take our chances, so pray for us. And after Tate and Dawn purchased this jet, they did do a little bit of renovations. We just like upgraded the seating because the seats need to be able to recline so you could take that nap or you could just sit and read your book. I went ahead and added some storage because we did not have enough storage space for Tay's closet. <laughs> And you know she was looking through Amazon hard trying to find some like silverware, some placemats and stuff to decorate to make it feel like home. And then back here, we did purchase a coffee maker. We got a mini fridge. And of course, you know, we're bougie. So we did have to hire a little flight attendant that works on call, okay? Because whenever we're ready to go, you better be ready to work. So Tay's just updating her social media status, letting everybody know that we are on the jet. So of course, for this event, Tay had to invite her best friend, Danny, and all also her best friend, Carissa, her two bridesmaids. And also she invited her friend, Lauren. Me and Lauren are good friends. I just don't spend the quality time that I should with her. So I had to make sure that I invited her on this trip so she felt included because I have been neglecting her. I invited my sister, Naomi, because you know, me and her have reconciled our relationship somewhat and I do want her a part of my wedding. Also peep the forehead wrinkles. Homegirl said uh, she has been stressed. <laughs> she needs to stop being such a hater because it's showing on your skin. And lastly, I did invite my mommy, Angelique. Also peep, me and my mom both have a silk press because it's winter time now and Windenburg has wonderful weather, no humidity. So you know, the silk press is silk pressing. Okay, baby. I'm actually so glad that Lauren is here because with both of my best friends pregnant, I need somebody to drink with. and I I can't just drink with my sister because I feel like she's gonna get emotional and she's gonna start crying or something. She's gonna start apologizing to me and it's just gonna ruin the night. And my mom isn't the most buck wild person, so I can't really drink with her, you know? And peep that Dawn's mom was not invited because last time I saw her for Harvest Fest, she just put me in a bad mood and I'm not trying to have her ruin this huge event for Tay. And it looks like Tay right now wants to listen to some hip hop music. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to her and we're gonna listen to some hip hop music and we're gonna start drinking and you know, we're gonna get this flight started. Uh oh. 
Look at her go back here. Okay. I should probably introduce myself to her because I'm gonna be seeing her very often with all the flights that I plan to go on. So I'm gonna do a funny introduction. Spoon a. All right, she's introducing herself to the flight attendant. Her name is Daya. Oh, and she got a really good first impression. She said that she's fun to be around. Um, you better not be too fun because I can see you walking away from your station <laughs> and you need to make us some drinks because that's what you were hired for. You weren't hired to play, baby. <laughs> Look at her over here about to start chatting. No, girl, you better start tending this bar, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna remove Carissa and Danny from the group because we're about to start drinking and they're pregnant asses. <laughs> Don't need to be doing a DIY abortion, okay? All right, I'm gonna order a drink for everyone and... Oh, wow, she's so skilled. Okay, since this is like such a special occasion, I want the most expensive drink. A thousand dollars. Everyone, we are getting the top, top, top shelf. Bye. Say so it's like, come on, Gallery. round from me and all of my girls. Uh oh, not my jam. Oh, Everyone got their little glass. We're about to start dancing. Let's party. Oh, and then look at Carissa's pregnant tail. She is so pregnant. <laughs> and my mom is just having so much fun. Like, she is not used to this lifestyle. Like, oh my goodness. Don't start a fire back there, Daya. Please don't burn down my private jet. We just bought it. We are still paying off that loan, okay? Lauren is pacing herself because everyone is pacing themselves. Because why are we still sipping on this drink? Honestly, this is just such a vibe. Like, can you imagine having a private jet and just like oh, this just sounds like so much fun carissa is trying so hard not to ruin the mood but she's so uncomfortable she's butt hurt i just know it's because she's in this last trimester of this pregnancy and she's just like hey i'm trying to be supportive i'm trying to be there for you but girl my feet hurt come on everybody let's get up and shake our booties oh danny i was about to say girl you can't leave me hanging just because you're pregnant don't mean nothing Oh, oh, why is everyone clapping at me? Because I'm famous? I don't know, but I'm here for it. They're hyping me up. Go say, go say, go say. Shake your booty. <laughs> She's so cute. Why she about to bust a split or something? I know she got it in her. Look at her, Danny. That's my best friend, my best friend. Hey. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lauren. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Hold that thought. I gotta pee so bad. <laughs> this bathroom is low-key cute because I got my little hair ties, my little hair pins. And you know, I had to bring my skincare and all of that. My little slippers, my robe. This jet is basically home at this point. I am just like so excited. Excited. I want to enthuse about the wedding to my mommy because like I'm so excited and she should be so excited too. I have a feeling that she's gonna cry when she sees me in my wedding dress because like <gasps> what mom wouldn't? Stop, not me about to jinx it and she's just gonna be like <laughs> ruining the trip. <laughs> she's like mom I'm so excited for this wedding. I can't wait to get to Windenburg and try on these dresses. Also peep that one of Tay's wants is to go for a jog. She is really trying to get fit for this wedding she did send her measurements to our custom wedding designer and we just hope and pray that it can be altered if we lose any more weight because we have to be snatched for this wedding she has like so many great moodlets it's mostly just about her being with her friends also this cognac is making us feel very confident in its complex bouquet there are aromas of nuts fresh pastries almonds caramel the taste has a pleasant bitterness of grapeseed and vanilla. I did not know that that was the concoction of what cognac was, but okay, I'm here for it. Ooh, and it says tasty beverage. That drink was incredible. The world is a fantastic place right now. Okay, like she's feeling that drink and a little bit flirty because, well, she misses Dawn. I think I want to talk to Naomi. I'm just gonna enthuse about hip hop music. Like, girl, this is my song. You remember when we first heard this song when we were kids, girl? That was everything. Mom, look at her. Lauren is showing out back there. She is so cute. Oh, I just really want to give a toast. Also, I'm trying to get drunk. <laughs> okay. Tay is like, toast to all of you girls. Thank you so much for joining the trip. And hopefully we find the dress. Okay, I am... Who is this calling me? Isha. I am tired of these scam calls. Hang up. Okay, let's pour a drink platter. Ooh, let's have this cherry sap 
platter. Honestly, I don't even know what drink recipe this came from. I don't know what mod this is, but I'm here for it. Let's pour it. This is so cute. Like the glass. Hello. Love that. <gasps> the platter. Oh, is it good? It's clear because my game is glitching, <laughs> but let's pretend like there's some liquid in there. This is such a cute moodlet. What poise, what finesse. Taste Toast has uplifted the guests. Carissa, I'm not gonna play with you. Why is there a prank on my toilet right now? I'm not gonna play with her because this is literally gonna break my toilet. Why did she do this? Caught red handed and she just pretended like she did nothing. Like what? I'm so upset. I hope she's the next person who has to use the toilet because that is so annoying. I'm just gonna try to brighten up her day a little bit because she's still feeling butthurt and I don't want her to ruin the trip. She's like, hey girl, how are you doing today? It's gonna be a wonderful trip. This flight is going so smooth. Oh, and look at Lauren and my mom just getting along. <laughs> she likes canning. Oh, uh, they're just having like a little heart to heart in the bathroom here. And it looks like, oh, she's feeling very inspired after talking to me. So I love that. I think I'm kind of feeling a champagne moment. So let's have the dry champagne with strawberries. Oh, look at Carissa. And Tay's like all the way in the bathroom. She's like, another round, screaming. <laughs> bathroom. My mom's still on her second glass. She's like, hey, I can't keep up, girl. You better keep up. You better try. This is how the whole trip better be. Two glasses in your hand, period. Carissa, I'm not playing with you. You better not take that drink. What are you doing? You better be cleaning. Oh, she is. Okay, love that. My mom's like, really? Do I have to drink both of these glasses? Yes, mama, you have to drink both of those glasses. We are not playing. Oh, look at Tay. I feel like she's on her social media right now. She's like looking at Don's story. Like, what is he up to? What is he doing? I miss him. Let me just FaceTime him real quick. I know, I don't want to be that person, but... I miss Penelope, okay? Let's say that. I miss Penelope. And also, peep that Jen was not invited to any of these events because I am no longer friends with her because she keeps flirting with me and I kept telling her, I don't roll that way. And she keeps doing it. And I think that's so disrespectful. Like, keep your fruity tail on that side. I don't want to be with you. So stop trying. Anyways. Oh my God, Lauren doesn't even know Danny. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I didn't realize that Lauren didn't know Danny and she doesn't know Carissa probably. Oh, okay. She does know Carissa. She's good friends with Carissa. She does not know my sister either. So I'm going to have her come introduce herself to my sister. And then I'm going to put in a good word for Danny so she can become really good friends with her. Hey, Lauren's hi. like, hi, my name's Lauren. Uh -huh. You're Tay's sister, Nina. right? Oh. She's like, yes. Oh, she thinks that Naomi is interesting, and I'm sure because she's heard so many crazy stories about Naomi. And right off the bat, Naomi does not like Lauren. She thinks that she's dramatic. She's like, ugh, look at her. Like, who does she think she is? She's so bougie with her little sunglasses on, with her little coat. Like, I don't know who you think you are, but I know that you can't afford those Chanel sunglasses because you're a bartender, okay? <laughs> My sister is really just such a hater. Like, <laughs> I hate her. But, you know, let's try to push it you gotta get to know her let's get to know each other because first impressions don't mean everything sometimes your first impression is wrong tay is on facetime with dawn right now she's like where's penelope what are you doing how is work going okay that's enough tay you're not gonna spend the whole trip reminiscing about Don and your baby, okay? We have things to do. Okay, I looked for the interaction for me to talk up another sim. I don't know where it's at, so I'm just gonna have Lauren introduce herself and she'll do a funny introduction because all the girls are here just joking. <laughs> so that's only fair. Everyone is just crowded in the space. Like this jet is huge and y'all all wanna crowd in this little bar area. But off the bat, she thinks that Danny is sophisticated probably because she's an art lover and she's such a great artist. And it looks like Danny thought that she was funny. So that's really good. Oh, uh, look at Carissa. She's so angry. She's saying it's the worst day ever. She's having those hormonal um, mood swings and I'm not here for it. I'm gonna see if I could just try to tell her a funny story and see if that pulls her out of it because girl, it is not the worst day ever. And my mom, she got the runs right now. Those drinks are going right through her. She already broke the seal. and She's like blowing up the toilet. 
Oh my god, wait! She's the one who used the toilet and got that... Carissa put that little prank on the toilet and it blew up on her. My mom was looking like, who in the hell did this the toilet? Got that poo-poo water all over her. Okay, let me get the flight attendant in here. Uh, stop tending the bar, please. Come repair this toilet because that's what you were hired for. You take care of the plane and she likes mixology. You better. <laughs> Yeah, Carissa, I don't know what is up with you. Shut I mean, I know what's up with you, but you're ruining the vibe. Smart. Please lay down. I'm gonna just have her come lay down here and take a nap because she's, mm -mm, she's doing too much. Look at her, about to insult somebody. No, stop. Don't listen to anything that Carissa says. She is <laughs> on her third trimester and she's not thinking clearly. The flight attendant is fixing the toilet right now. Otherwise, I would have ordered us some food. Look at her. She's only 25% done. She has zero handiness skills. You know what? Just... She likes handiness. That's good. Let's just stop. I'll just replace it. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, oh, I worked so hard. Now I'm about to pour me a little drink. No, I don't want to make them wait an hour to get some food. So I'm gonna just have her tend the bar again and then we'll order some food. Oh, let's, oh my God, I can't even replace it. <gasps> okay, well, our toilet's just gonna be broken for the rest of the flight. So hopefully nobody got to use the bathroom. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. Today drained me. Like she didn't just cause absolute chaos in that restroom. Like <laughs> I hate her. She's lucky she's pregnant. Let's go ahead and order some food. I think I'm gonna just do the meat and cheese platter because it comes with like so much food and we have so many people on this jet. So Baranga. Oh, and look at Jen trying to text me. Girl, the t-shirts are out of this world. Girl, I am out of that world because I'm going to Winneburg. <laughs> that is my new world I am entering and you aren't invited. And Danny ordered her some chips. Girl, I just got us the, the freaking platter. I am so freaking hyped for my mom because this is not her lifestyle. Like she does not get bug wild. She drinks, but that's about it. She does not, you know, go clubbing or anything like that. She's very like, she's a very like humble Christian woman. Um, maybe a little hypocritical, but overall a nice Christian woman. And she will make sure to remind you of God's word during any event no matter the circumstance. Look at Carissa, she woke up, she gotta use the bathroom so bad. Look, it's going down so quickly, but girl, you broke the toilet. So what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? She really should have thought about that before she broke the toilet. <laughs> She lucky she pregnant because I would have been going off on her right now. I am just having so much fun. So I'm going to take a little selfie. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Also like this outfit is just everything. I don't know about you, but I think that she looks absolutely stunning. Oh, she feels so good after taking that little selfie. Let's also, you know, put this on social media. Let's put it on our story. Like girl, we are on the jet. We are about to board. I'm planning that once we land, we're gonna stay at the Windenburg Bed and Breakfast because that was such a wonderful little resort. And I think the girls would really like it. All right, so Tay has made her little cup of coffee. All of the girls are gathering their belongings and we are about to land. So I will see you guys at the bed and breakfast. We have arrived to the Windenburg bed and breakfast and the girls are picking out their rooms as we speak. It was a long flight, but I think it was pretty chill and mostly everyone had a great time. That was really everyone's first experience on a private jet, so they better be grateful. The plan for tonight is just to relax. There is a wonderful spa here, so maybe we can spend some time in the spa and then in the morning, we're gonna get a little breakfast and then head to our our wedding dress appointment. Oh yes, and I'm so freaking glad nobody stole my- <gasps> Oh, it says I don't own it. I freaking left my crib here <laughs> and I forgot to put it back in my inventory and now it says it's not mine. It is mine, I swear. Well, if I can't have it, nobody can. I whipped out my computer because I do wanna browse the apparel websites just so Tay can like remember her image for the morning. Like, oh, this is my dream wedding gown. And I hope that the designer can create exactly what I'm envisioning. And also I do wanna look up some hairstyles and some makeup because while we're here, I want to try out some makeup 
makeup artist and some hairstylists to see, you know, who is worthy to do yours truly's makeup and hair for her wedding. Oh, also we should probably set up my registry. Yeah, we should. So Tay's on her computer just doing all of those tasks. Danny came over, of course, to talk to her and just tell her some crazy story. And look at Carissa. She has changed into her loungewear. She is so pregnant. She's still very, very angry. She's trying to calm herself down. I hope this helps, sis, because <laughs> you are, you're kind of bringing me down and it's not the vibe for right now. Oh, and for Tay, it says off the rack discount, dare we say couture, so many styles, cuts, patterns, colors, and fashions. It's going to take all of Tay's decision power to land on the perfect look. Hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Chris is just here trying to talk herself up like, girl, it is only two days. One day is already done. We just have tomorrow and then we can fly back home and I can be with my man, cuddle up in bed. And next thing you know, I'll be in the hospital having this baby. It is going to be okay. Look at Lauren. She has put on her little towel and she is just here in the sauna. She's like, I am going to take advantage of my time here. And it looks like Naomi is getting along with her very well. I'm just going to invite her to relax because what you need doing no, in here in your freaking outfit like come on girl put that towel oh, on no. let's relax let's chill oh, no. and of course my sister is Hello. just such a hoe <laughs> because she's feeling no, so flirty she's talking about herself <laughs> just hyping herself up Laura's like, girl, whatever. I'm just in here to relax. Oh my gosh, my mom and Danny are so freaking cute because they're just reading books together. Like, what? Okay, we love an educated queen. <laughs> oh, my mom's thinking about fall time. She was like, oh, I miss the fall. It's too cold outside. Carissa could not hype herself up because she's still very angry and she's going to get some cereal from the fridge. Uh. Look at her. Girl, I'm I'm gonna pray that she is in a better mood tomorrow. Uh-uh, don't bring your angry tail over to my table. What is she going to do? She's getting some water. She's like, I need to hydrate because they were just drinking lick. D Carissa, now I know this was you. She put another bomb on this toilet. Girl, what is wrong with you? Anyway, she's like, I need to hydrate because I am in my third trimester. She is just going to keep reminding us that she is in that third trimester. And we dragged her out here. She will not let us live it down. Oh my God. <laughs> Carissa is craving this grilled cheese. And I feel like Danny's like, girl, you know, it's crazy you say that because you're craving a grilled cheese. I'm craving a grilled cheese. I'm going to make us some grilled cheeses. Let's just do, let's do a party size because everybody loves grilled cheese. Danny is like, girl, I already know that cereal did not hit, but this grilled cheese definitely will. And she's like, what is in the air? Why are we all just craving grilled cheeses nowadays? You know, it's so crazy. I don't even eat grilled cheese. I haven't had it since I was a kid, but for some reason I am just craving a grilled cheese every single day is crazy. Danny isn't putting the pieces together that she is craving the same thing as her pregnant best friend, but you know, She'll find out eventually. And she likes cooking. I'm gonna embrace it and say yes. Now this, this is a meal. I have an override for a lot of the base game foods and they're retextured to look absolutely scrumdiddlyumptious like this. And I love this. Danny isn't even craving that grilled cheese anymore. She just was before she made this plate. I guess that's, you know, pregnancy for you. Oh my God, she's not even craving it either, but you know, I'm still gonna give it to her and let's eat a serving because she is starving. Tay is still looking up these hairstyles and makeup. I mean, that is a huge, part of your wedding. I always say that I'm gonna do my own makeup for my wedding because I don't trust anybody with my face and I know how to do my makeup perfectly. I don't think anybody else can do better than me, honestly. Carissa, you better be happy with this grilled cheese. I'm not playing with you. Oh my God, her hunger went up so quickly. She has this mood that pretty tasty, but it's not overpowering the worst day ever. 
Yes. Oh, our- look at Tay. Oh. She's talking about Penelope. And she's like, you know, speaking of Penelope, oh. I do need to tell my man and my family Party. that we landed safely. So down. I am going to send a little text to Dawn, just letting him know, hey, you know, we did make it to the Winnebird bed and breakfast. The flight was lovely. And we're now home. Tell Penelope I love her. And please tuck her in and give her a big kiss for me. I'm just going to have Carissa come in here, you know, brush her teeth, do her night routine. It's only 9 p.m. She's not tired, but she is very angry. And, you know, she just wants to lay in bed, relax, put a face mask on, and talk to her man on FaceTime. Ooh, I do have these holy sheet face masks, and I haven't even opened it. It's a four-pack bundle, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that and then give one to her. Perfect, she's brushing her teeth, and I gave her this mask, so I'm gonna apply that. I don't wanna jinx it, but I hope that this mask... <laughs> does not irritate her skin because that would just make this day 10 times worse. I'm sorry, boo. Chris is gonna come into her room and she's gonna be like, oh, really? You're just gonna keep reminding me over and over that I can't drink. Why did this resort put wine on my bed? Oh, this is the worst day ever. I think that she feels left out that, you know, she can't do the things that all of her friends are doing because she's pregnant. So she's just gonna, you know, come in the mirror, check her baby bump and remember that she is creating life inside of her very body right now. And that's a wonderful thing. She does not have to be jealous. Oh, okay. And Tay is setting up her registry. Um, so what type of gifts do you want for your Sims registry? Monetary gifts or physical gifts? What does monetary mean? Hold on. Let me Google that. <laughs> oh, okay. So monetary means money. Um, well, okay. So we don't really necessarily need money. I feel like that's not something we would put on our wedding registry because with the way the Don's checks are set up baby we are about to be millionaires <laughs> so i guess you know i would just say physical gifts but you know not everyone has my great sense of style don't know if they're going to be giving me something great ah, i'll take my chances let's do both types of gifts Ooh, it says Tay's registry has been set up. Time to register for gifts so that the guests know what you want. But in the end, it's nice to get cash too. Oh, so we actually can add things to our registry so they know exactly what I want. <gasps> that is so perfect. Now, like I didn't know that it was that specific. So actually... Maybe I should change it, but it's fine. Anyways, like I was saying, Krista is just here and she is, you know, going through all of her deep thoughts. I think after this, I'll probably just have her relax in bed and read a nice little book. Oh my gosh, Lauren is such a good friend because she is cleaning the toilets. Oh, you know what? She, <laughs> she probably is the one who used it. And then, you know, that prank was on it. So she broke it. I'm tired of Carissa putting these damn pranks on the toilet. Like, and then she's like, well, I cleaned it, but I'm not repairing it because I am not a plumber. Look oh, at Carissa. No. She came down here to pick up this book and she just started cussing. Like, girl, okay. I'm just bringing her back into her room. <laughs> it looks like she's trying to talk to Danny. She's telling Danny, you know, goodbye. I'm going up to my bed and I'm gonna read this book and call my man and lay down. Oh, and I did have Tay set up a website for her wedding and it says, Tay's event website has been set up. All the details about the event that are needed for the guests can be found there. So, you know, we are doing it big for this wedding. You know, if you have any questions, go to the website, baby, and it will give you all of your answers. And I think lastly, I do want to browse some honeymoon getaways. I have no idea where me and Don would honeymoon. So hopefully this website gives us a better idea of what's out there. My mom is just, you know, she is having a blast. She's super energized. She had so many firsts today. That was actually her first time in a sauna because she's like not the type to, you know, go to a spa and do like little girly things like that for herself she would rather be out working in her garden or working on the ranch but she is feeling the good vibes this lot just has such a good aura and she's loving it also the sauna was amazing and she's like wow like <laughs> that's what saunas do i feel so refreshed after that but she is outdoorsy and she does not like being locked inside so she's like oh 
I've been, you know, in the jet and now we're inside the bed and breakfast. I really wish that, you know, I could be outside in my garden right now. I think I'm just going to have her change her outfit. Let's go ahead and put on her loungewear and then we'll meet up with the other girls in the dining area. Actually, the other girls have headed off to bed, but I think Tay has finished, you know, browsing the honeymoon website. Oh no, she's not. She's thinking about her sister though. So mom comes and she sits down and look at Tay, she's just typing away. Her fingers are <laughs> sorry. <Dad. laughs> You know, Angelique sits down and like I said, she loves to spread God's word. So I feel like, you know, she's just going to enthuse about the power of prayer. And she's like, you know, I really prayed about the Lord bringing you back into my life. And my prayers were answered. <laughs> she's like, yes, he answered my prayers because you did reach out to me just like he said you would. And I'm so thankful for that. And my mom is, you know, not the type to stay up all night, but this is a special occasion. And this is like a huge milestone in both of our lives. Like she's seeing her little girl get married pretty soon. And, you know, I am, you know, I'm getting married yeah. so <laughs> she's like you know this is an event for me to stay up and just talk to my daughter Ooh, and will you look at that the calm and sunny beach a romantic and dusty desert the hustle and bustle of the exciting city adventure and action in the jungle who can decide so tay is still you know pondering where are we gonna go for this vacation honeymoon it is getting late though and we do have a Big day ahead of us tomorrow. I'm gonna have the girls wake up in the morning, get some brunch at the bread and breakfast, obviously, and then we're gonna head to the appointment to get my fitting for my custom wedding dress. And I have to send Tay to bed as soon as possible. So I'm just about to send her now. Good morning. It is currently 6 a.m. and it is literally still dark outside. Tay is still sleeping, but she's about to wake up and she's gonna wake everyone up and head down to the breakfast area. That way everyone can get some food in their tummies. Tay also got this notification from her ad agency. It says we've got an influencer opportunity that you're perfect for. Could you record a video, any video, and upload it? Don't worry, we'll take care of the editing. If you can send it within 24 hours, you'll earn an immediate payout and additional money on each royalty payment. So I think I'm gonna have Tay upload a video regarding her Prada sponsorship and let's see how much money that gets us. Tay went ahead and uploaded that video. They did give us an instant like cash advantage of $100, which they tried to make it seem like it was gonna be some good money, but... <laughs> They only gave us 100, so whatever. But Tay is now requesting a table for her and all of the girls, and they're gonna get a little breakfast. Also, it did snow overnight, so it's like frozen outside, and I'm so sad about that. I hate the snow. We are forced to eat inside because it's freezing cold outside, and <laughs> you know how much I love eating outside, but it's just not physically possible today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and order for everybody. You already know I'm gonna hook Carissa up and Danny up with some orange juice. And then I think the rest of us will just have, like, let's have a macchiato because we have a lot of things to do today and we need that energy. I think I'm gonna go with the full fry up. I'm gonna give it to Carissa too because I feel like it will make her belly happy. You know what, Danny, your baby needs it too. And everyone else will just have some avocado egg toast. Also, look at this. My mom woke up really hungover. <laughs> Angelique is pretty hungover. Maybe that final drink last night was unnecessary. Oh, my mama can't hang, but it's okay because she's like, I can't drink like you girls. And I'm like, I know mama, like <laughs> you get lit off of one glass of wine. I don't know why I was having her take all those shots. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, but look at this. She has this tense moodlet underachieving. Sigh, has Angelique really done enough with her life? Oh my gosh, she's looking at her milestone reflection and she's like, oh, there's so much that I wanna do and I'm just getting older and older by the day. I'm seeing my little girl about to get married and there's still so much that I haven't even done. And you can see that now she has this new want and she wants to make something greater than poor quality. She just wants to do more with her life. Tay is just thriving this morning. She has all wonderful moodlets and she loves the warm clothing that she has on. <laughs> we did laundry right before we um, got on this trip. Since my mom is like really wanting to be friends with Lauren, I'm just gonna like tell her a joke. 
um, tell a joke about horse, of course. <laughs> she does have a horse, so let's see if Lauren thinks that's funny. Also, I'm gonna wish Carissa a good morning because I hope she's having a way better day today. She's like, yes, better than yesterday for sure. <laughs> oh my god, who just farted? <gasps> Ew! <laughs> she just farted. She's all embarrassed. I got secondhand embarrassment. That was disgusting. <laughs> Perfect. Our food is here. Oh my god, my food came out normal quality. That's gonna ruin the morning for sure. Tay's gonna be complaining about this and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Oh my god, not Danny talking about divorce. <laughs> She's like, yeah, me and my wife have thought about it, but you know, now we're trying to have a baby instead. So hopefully that saves our relationship. <laughs> Oh, everyone's just having such a great morning, but I've noticed that Naomi hasn't said anything. I'm going to tell her good morning because like, girl, what is going on? Good morning, sister. How are you? And then Danny's like, so energetic this morning. Maybe she shouldn't have. Oh, she didn't even have coffee. She just is a burst of energy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am just going to update my social media status really quickly and then we are going to pay for this bill and we're going to head to our appointment. Who did my sister just flirt to? I know damn well she didn't just flirt with Danny. First of all, Danny is just out of line because not her trying to <laughs> get pregnant with her wife and now she's flirting with my sister right in front of me right in front of everybody, right in front of my mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, and my mom, my mom is about to say something. I already know it. She's gonna be like, um, weren't you just talking about your marriage and how you didn't want to get a divorce? You wanted to have a child with your wife instead? Now, adultery is a sin. <laughs> now, I don't want to slut shame, but my sister is a trifling homewrecker <laughs> because why is she always ruining somebody's relationship? I already told you my mom, here she come with the religion. <laughs> she gonna pull it out. She's just gonna talk about her religious beliefs. The Lord wouldn't have wanted you to ruin everybody's relationship. <laughs> you need to listen to the gospel. <laughs> And she's just listening. She's like, mm-hmm, I'm gonna let you talk. I don't believe the same things as you, but let's get out of here. Come on. All right, you guys, we have made it to the bridal shop and we are about to meet up with the designer and we're gonna see, you know, what they came up with and hopefully we find our dream wedding dress. This is Francesca McCartney and she is the designer that has been working with Tay for her wedding dress. So I'm gonna bring all the girls in here so Tay can finally meet her in person. Everyone is out here just chatting. So let's come over here and everyone let's come inside. And Francesca is a global superstar. So she is a worldwide designer. She is very well known. And because of that, Tay can't even introduce herself. So I'm gonna have Francesca introduce herself to Tay. She's like, hello, so nice to meet you. Oh no. So Tay really likes her. She thinks she's fun to be around, but she does not like me. She thinks I'm pretentious. Oh my gosh, yes, she does. Well, it's probably just because I was very, you know, animated online and I might have come off a little bit as bougie, but this is my wedding and you only get one, hopefully, in your life. And I want it to be big and extravagant, so I'm sorry. So I'm gonna chat a little bit about the wedding theme so she, you know, really understands what we are going for with this wedding dress. She's like, well, this wedding is going to be in the Winnenberg Chateau, so this needs to be the most extravagant dress that you have ever created. And she's like, trust me, it will be. Let's start trying on these dresses. But she's like, first, you know, we do need to have a little toast because this is such an exciting day for you. She's like, gather around, you all. Let's toast to finding the perfect wedding dress today. And oh, Carissa. She's like, one sip isn't going to hurt. But everybody's like, cheers. Oh my God. And look at my sister. She's like, do you think that you can make my wedding dress when I get married? <laughs> okay. Because now she wants to take pictures with her. Uh-uh, she being extra. 
Stop posing for pictures, girl. Yeah, we got a job to get to. She's like, oh, it's cold in here. Okay, let's turn the heater on. I am so excited. You guys have no idea. Like, this just seems like so much fun. Kate is in her little robe and Francesca's like, come on, let's get you size. Oh, okay. So she's just doing a little color match right now, trying to make sure she has the right shade. She's taking those measurements. Look at Tay, she's so excited. And Francesca's like, you sure those measurements you sent me were accurate? Because, <laughs> uh, did you gain any weight? <laughs> I'm like, Francesca, don't play with me right now. Don't play. <laughs> All right, so this is wedding dress option number one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The rhinestones just look so beautiful and the veil just brings the whole look together. All right, so this is the second option and honestly, I am kind of feeling this one a little bit more. I just feel like it's giving the Windenburg vibe more, especially like being in a castle. I don't know, something about the lace, the see-through part of the lace was just color matched so perfectly also like it's just hugging all the right places i don't know i think it's i think it's the one and from the sounds of it i think everyone else thinks so too and francesca did also style this reception dress for us and again the see-through part is the perfect color match i love all the little rhinestones it's so glamorous Oh my gosh, and look at my mommy. See, I told you that she was gonna cry. Oh, she's so cute. She's like, my little girl is growing up. <laughs> look at Naomi here. She pretending like, oh, um, I don't know, like the dresses, they're just not, they're not giving what they're supposed to give. Uh, Like girl, shut up, shut up. Cause you're not even here to help. What are you here for? You, she's just being a hater at this point. Mm-mm. Tay has changed back into her robe and now she's just kind of thinking about the options for the dresses. She still has time to finalize her decision. Both of those dresses were absolutely gorgeous and I love the wedding reception dress. Um, Not to spoil the mood or anything, but I got this notification. It says, oh no, it looks like Tay has food poisoning. Something must have been wrong with the restaurant food. Tay should get on the phone and let them know and look at her bladder. She is like... <laughs> Let me take her to the restroom. Oh God, let's, oh, she has to throw up. Okay, come on girl, let's go. Look at her, she's like, I really gotta go to the bathroom. Oh my God, I need to throw up so bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tay. Look at this, disgusting. <laughs> she was like, I gotta wash my hands first. And then she really needs to do a number two. <laughs> she's about to blow up this bathroom. Oh no, oh my God, no, no, no. <laughs> No! <laughs> Disgusting! She couldn't make it in time! Mm -mm. You see, because they're trying to play me right now. <laughs> there is no way that she has Dookie all on her shoulders. Oh, mm -mm. They acted like she showered in feces. <laughs> That's not what happened. They trying to play me. <laughs> That's not what happened. I swear. Y'all saw the tape. Oh, let's see if we wash our hands. Can that get our hygiene up a little bit? Like, we need to get back to the bed and breakfast. Oh, it did help. Okay. At least there's not Dookie on her robe anymore. That is disgusting. Well, at least her bladder is full now. Oh, she's like really deep cleaning those hands. Oh my God, and she still has to throw up. Oh, let's try brushing your teeth because I know that your breath is funky after you just threw up. It says poisoned food. The gurgling of the stomach is a deafening roar. Tay must call the restaurant immediately to report this, but whatever happens, she should not wander too far from a bathroom. Oh my God, yeah, let me get them on the line because... I'm gonna report this food poisoning and they better give me some type of compensation because this really kind of ruined my day, not even gonna lie. <laughs> okay, it says, we're taking Tay's claim of food poisoning very seriously. Please accept $284 as compensation for our mistake. Try drinking lots of water. Again, we are so sorry. Please don't tell anyone. Well, no, 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 no. Cause you messed with the wrong one. I'm about to tell everybody. I'm gonna update my social media status because they need to know. Me and Dawn are never staying at the Wittenberg bed and breakfast again because 
they got E. coli in their food or something. This is not right. Ooh. Oh, look at Tay. She's feeling so terrible. Okay, I'm gonna do what they say and I'm gonna get a glass of water and we'll see if that helps her feel a little bit better. And look, Francesca came in here to clean the toilet. She's like, how are you feeling? I'm so sorry about the food poisoning. And Tay's like, yeah, I may or may not have <laughs> shit on your floor, uh, but I swear I'm gonna clean it up. I just sharded all over the place. Uh, I need to get going because I'm already smelling musty. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for helping me find my dream wedding dress. I took pictures and I'm going to think about which one I want. <laughs> <laughs> I had so many plans for this Winnenberg trip, but this kind of just ruined it all. I see Tay for the rest of this trip just being tied to her bed and the toilet. Oh, y'all. I feel so bad for her. All right, you guys. I ended up just bringing Tay home because she is so embarrassed that she peed herself. <laughs> She got food poisoning. She threw up all over Francesca's bathroom. And she's just kind of going through it at the moment. She's taking a hot, relaxing bath. And then I'm going to have her call Don and tell him everything that happened. And she's probably just going to be laying in the bed for the rest of the day. Maybe we'll try to get a massage. But it just depends on how that stomach is feeling. Because, whew. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode please give it a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye